about today, but it's so much easier to say, tomorrow. Who's promised you tomorrow? Better choose the Lord today, for tomorrow very well might be today. Jesus said here, I stand, won't you please take my hand, and you said, I will tomorrow. And who said that tomorrow would ever come for you? Still, you laugh and play and continue on to say, tomorrow. Forget about tomorrow. Won't you give your life today? Don't just turn and walk away. Tomorrow, tomorrow is not promised. Don't let this moment slip away. Your tomorrow could very well be here today. Amen. For those who think that they are untouchable or, or strong enough or nothing's going to happen to them, let me just read a, a few statistics to you right now. The number of deaths caused by heart disease is 611,000 a year. Cancer takes out 590,000 people a year. Strokes, 130,000. Diabetes, 75,000. Car accidents, 33,000. The number of children that die from gun violence between the years 2002 and 2012 was 28,000. Just this week, 
my son, Michael, lost his sister who was only 16 years old. So just to let you know, tomorrow is not promised to no one. It's not promised to no one. This morning I'm going to ask, talk to you about decisions. These are days of decisions. Decisions that would affect the destiny of all of us are being made daily. The decision that God is calling for this morning is more important than any other decision that you will ever make in your life. This decision is whether or not you will come to Christ and serve him. Let's look at our scripture for today. Luke 18, chapter 18, verses 18 to 25, please. Now, a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. You know the commandments. Do not, cut, do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor your mother and father. And he said, All, all things I have kept from my youth. So when Jesus heard he said to him, you still lack one thing. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he became very sorrowful, he said, how hard is it for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the the kingdom of God. He could not give up his idolatry. He could not give up his money, his position in life, or his lifestyle. He did not have the faith to give up what was required of him for the kingdom of God. He did not believe that God would take care of him. John 21 15 a says, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? Jesus is asking you this morning the same question he asked Peter. He says to us every second of the day, do you love me more than these? Do you love me more than drugs this morning? Do you love me more than alcohol? Do you love me more than any person you're committing adultery with? Do you love me more than fame and fortune? Do you love me more than that unmarried person that you're living with? Do you love me more than all the material things that you lust for? Do you love me more than the addictions that you have on the internet, video games, or the reality shows that's on TV? Jesus wants to know, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are these things so important in your life that you will allow them to come between you and God? In other words, you need to ask yourself, is there any thought, any deed, any person or any circumstance that you place before him? Who do you hold your allegiance to this morning? Allegiance means to be loyal or devoted to some person, group, or cause. A misplaced allegiance means that you will side with a personal thing or ideal before you will side with what is right and what is holy and what is of God. If you are loyal to anyone or anything other than God, then it's time to abandon it this morning. So I ask you, which will it be, God's will or Satan's? In many ways, the choice is yours. If you're like a lot of people, your life is somewhere in between. The Lord Jesus said in Matthew 12 and 30, he that is not with me is against me. Let me repeat that. He that is not with me is against me. The devil's will is to cause your sickness, anxiety, poverty, and fear. The enemy is intent on destroying your relationship with God. He won't stop until he has destroyed you spiritually, financially, physically, and in every other way possible. God's will for you is health, prosperity, peace, and hope. So again, I ask you this morning, whose side are you on? Learning how to say no to your addictions, removing people and things from your house will be painful, yes. It can cost you money, it can cost you relationships, it can cost you your job, and it can affect your family. Standing for what is right 
for what God wants is not always pleasant or convenient. But God has a purpose for all of us. Your faith will be tested daily. Your decision will either prove your devotion to God or just plain lip service. When the time comes, will you be like Peter, who had abandoned Jesus when Jesus needed him the most? Later, he denied that he even knew who Jesus was. Will you make that same decision as Peter? Will you choose personal comfort over Jesus? Will you have an attitude of fear for what may happen for professing your love for Christ or place yourself above the man to whom you pledge your allegiance to? 2 Corinthians 5 and 8 says, to be absent from the body but present with the Lord. If you have not made a commitment to follow God, one thing you must know, he was not going to force you. Jesus would not force you. The responsibility is yours to make. It's not your wife. It's not your husband. It's not your mother or the preacher. It's yours. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I now have one proposition to make to you this afternoon, and that is, think about it. After your spirit leaves your body, after the casket that lays right here in front of the, uh, the pulpit lid has been closed in church, after you have taken to the cemetery, after the dirt has been placed upon the top of your coffin, after the last tear that has been shed, after the last mourner has turned aside from the gravesite and your body lies alone, where would you be in eternity? Where would you be in eternity? Will you be with God or will you be in hell? Your decision must be made now because tomorrow is not promised to none of us and cannot be made after death. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of life is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You have to remember that. Knowing this, my brothers and sisters, what are you willing to give up for the kingdom of God? Even so far as giving up your life. Let me repeat that. Even so as to giving up your life, if it's required, how much faith do you have? If you do decide to follow Christ, this Bible is a book about destiny, your destiny, my destiny. It tells of the great plan God has for your life. Just as he told Abraham, he had a special place and plan for his life. God has a plan and a place for you as well. To decide for Christ is the most important and necessary decision you will ever make. The ultimate question then this morning is, what shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? Matthew 27 and 22. And which you are now asked, will you follow the demonic crowd at that time who cried, let him be crucified. Will you be one of those guys? By your choice today, let me repeat that. By your choice today, you are either choosing to be partners with them in damnation or with those who truly profess Jesus Christ as Lord and receive him unto salvation. Choose ye this day whom you shall serve. Jesus says in Revelation 3 and 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him and him with me. When making a decision, ask yourself, what would Jesus do? We can never go wrong when we choose to follow the Savior. The choices you make will determine your destination. Amen. So at this time, I'd like to uh, open up the altar for anyone who would like to who would like to um, give God the glory, who would like to be saved at this time, who would like to commit themselves to Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Is there any? May we all stand, please. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. If you'd like to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult.
If not, if you would like to raise your hand, raise your hand, please, if you'd like to give your life over to Christ. And just repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I realize and admit that I am a sinner. I repent of my sins and ask you to forgive me, Lord. You said in your word, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus, I'm calling on your name. You also said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto unrighteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I believe with my heart that Jesus was raised from the dead to, so that I may live eternally. I confess him now as my Lord. In Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Come on, y'all sing a little bit of that. Tomorrow, tomorrow. How many of us say tomorrow? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're standing. Y'all don't have to sit down. Who promised you tomorrow? Yes. Better choose the Lord one. today. For tomorrow may not come tomorrow. Better choose the Lord today. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Y'all go ahead, sing, 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 go ahead. Go ahead, sing it, y'all. Go ahead. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Come on, brother Ty, you know it? Tomorrow. It's all right. If everybody puts the piece that they know, we'll have the whole song. Come on. All right. And, and you have it. Jesus go. said, here I stand. There you go. Won't you please yeah. let me in? And you said, I will tomorrow. tomorrow. Jesus said, I am he who supplies all your needs. And you said, I know, but tomorrow. I give my life tomorrow. I thought about today. It's so easier to say tomorrow. Who promised you is not promised. Better choose the Lord today. For your tomorrow. Very well might be too late. Jesus said, Jesus, Jesus said, said, here I stand. stand. 